been forever since I have posted a Reagan gameplay, so here it is! Oh, yeah, okay! I feel so weird not saying my name because that intro just says my name. I don't know why I can't get over it. <laughs> Maybe I'm not used to other people saying my name. That's a fucking lie. Anyways, hey, how are you guys doing? So, 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 so. Today's topic, as you can tell by the topic, title, number, thing, title, letters, yeah, is homelessness. <laughs> so, I'm in school, right? In college, second year, and I want to major in sociology. And what I'm going to do with that degree that I get, which is just going to be a BA, but I might need to go to graduate school. But, you know, money is an issue, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But I'm pretty sure I can find a really decent job. But it's not going to be just any job. See, I have this vision of my future, which is going to be like this. Here, let me lay it out for you. By the time I graduate, I am already going to be either living on my own or with Jeed and possibly kill it and repent. Who knows? And uh, But for sure, it's going to be Jeed. <laughs> so I'll be like, what, 22, 23 by then. And I'm going to have my BA, and hopefully I will have already interned at a couple of like homeless shelters. And why homeless shelters is because right now those are the only resources either a homeless shelter or like some I don't know what they're called but a place for uh, homeless people to get resources like work where, where they can get counseling or where they can get any sort of um, I don't know oh my god Jeet is calling me right now hold on <coughs> babe I'm still doing a commentary <laughs> another one, another one? <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, you know I like to do multiple ones. <laughs> Can I call you back after? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Love you. Bye. It's okay. Aww, isn't he just adorable? Yeah, he's gonna be like, wow, I was in that commentary. <laughs> He doesn't know though, so surprise G, you were totally in this commentary. Alright, so what was I talking about? Okay, so my future is gonna be like I wanna um I wanna help homeless people, but right now what I've learned in school about charities and volunteerism that not it's not necessarily I mean the att the intentions of charities and volunteering at homeless shelters. I'm talking specifically about homeless shelters, not like animals or, you know, the SPCA. I'm talking about homeless shelters specifically. And what I've learned in school through these readings that I've had, I've had to like complete books within a week and, you know, Jeed knows about this and I would tell him, babe, man, after I just read this chapter, I'm so goddamn depressed. And he would be like, why? I'd be like, because I thought that doing charities and, I mean, giving to charities and volunteering really helps the homeless person or people. And he's like, well, yeah, it does. And I was like, actually, it only temporarily helps them. I mean, if you think about it, homeless shelters, they provide food and maybe a little bit of clothing and possibly some bathing times. But how is that going to help them not be homeless? If you think about it, people who volunteer a lot volunteer because they think they're doing something good, right? and therefore it makes them become good citizens and when you are seen as a good citizen you're, you're seen as oh a good person so you did something really nice for someone and those people who are homeless are seen as the people who need help and so they're seen as people who who aren't good citizens because they can't help out the society they can't they aren't capable supposedly through our eyes we think that homeless people automatically are lazy incompetent dirty or something when you see them and don't lie to me don't don't think right now in your head no I never thought that because it's true homelessness to people is normal it's almost a culture and it's fucking terrible because 
Homeless people are people. Just because they do not have the same opportunities, because they're not given those opportunities, and homeless people aren't just people who are drug addicts. If that's what you're thinking, they're also not just veterans. They're actually some people who are born homeless. You know, I mean, I've seen this、uh, video about this homeless person named Cody, and he totally was just. Born homeless, like his parents put him in a basket in front of an orphanage, and he was soon taken in by a family. And all of a sudden, the family didn't want him anymore at the age of 17 or something, and they kicked him out. And the government doesn't want him because what is the government gonna do with him? Nothing. So he's out on the streets, and it's not the fact that he doesn't want to do something with his life, because when you are given the opportunity. To do something with your life, such as going to school, that's the only opportunity for teenagers. Obviously, unless you have a hookup from somebody that will give you a job like right away, then fine, that's your opportunity. But I'm talking about like for most people who don't have hookups like that, don't get to be who they want to be in a lifetime because. They're kicked out of their homes, and so family structure is also a big issue with homelessness. And it's, so, don't think it's just drug addicts or whatever you have in mind, because that is definitely not always the case. And so, back to the good citizen and whatnot is.、Um, I remember I was volunteering at this、uh, soup kitchen downtown in San Francisco, and I was so happy because I've always wanted to get involved and do something for people. And you know, at the end of the day, I actually felt good about myself. I felt proud, like yeah, I did a good deed. But now I look back on it, it's like wow, I'm such a fucking dick because I did something that maintains homeless people as homeless. I Kept them from being who they wanted to be by providing them all these necessities. And I'm not saying it's not a good intention to give food to those who need food, because you know, as human beings, we are entitled to have food, and we have masses of amount of food. And they're not even really food because they're like. Process, but you know, whatever it's, whatever we consume, we have enough of it, and it's just fucking crazy that we have so much of it that we are containing it and we are not giving it to homeless people who do need it. I mean, some soup kitchens will have, like give you a limited amount, but we shouldn't have soup kitchens, is what I'm saying. We should, we should really. Okay, so this homeless issue is such a big social. Uh, social issue, and I can go on for days about it, but I am definitely running out of time, so I gotta keep, I gotta move fast. Okay, so my main point is that、um, we should not see homelessness as an individual problem. It is a social problem because one, the government is not doing its job, which they need to do first before we. Decide what charities and、um, volunteering should be, because if you think about it, people who do charities are like, okay, you guys should give money to these poor people because they're poor, and it's like, okay, we'll normalize them by trying to make them into our middle class, try, try to、uh, make them just like us. And at homeless shelters, what a lot of people don't know is that when given counseling, they are homeless people are told that. They're either crazy or they're not cooperating, and that they're different and they're being complicated, this and that. When we're the ones being not understanding of them and their situation, where they came from, and it causes so much disconnection with us and the homeless people. So citizens and homeless people, even though homeless people are citizens, but I'm only saying it this way because they're not seen as citizens. So. What everybody needs to do is rethink: Why are you doing、um, vo- volunteering, and why are you giving to charities? Don't give just because you think that it'll help. Because honestly, that only helps temporarily. And if you want to make a big change in the social problem, you have to honestly, you have to probably do things differently, or maybe even focus on whatever that different thing is and do it just. 
just like very differently so and that's what what I'm trying to say is that when I grow up my big dream the vision that I had like I mentioned earlier is to have a place not necessarily a homeless shelter where I provide food and clothes maybe sometimes but not all the times because I honestly feel like that keeps homeless people homeless because they feel that they are being taken care of all the time because you know they are we are we are keeping homeless people homeless by doing charities and volunteering so that makes us good citizens because if we didn't have volunteerism and charities how else are we going to prove that we're good citizens so that's immoral that's not right it's inhumane how can you walk by someone sitting on the fucking street knowing that they're not gonna be able to have a good rest tonight you know and you are it's inhumane it's fucked up and i want to have a place where it's going to be completely different where i provide very good counseling and i only pick the best of the best caring people i honestly think it takes very caring loving people to make differences in the world not necessarily intellectual politicians because as we can fucking see nothing has fucking changed from the politicians points of views and their actions so what we need more on this planet are loving and caring people hope you guys enjoyed this and take away and took away from this, this is really long i'm sorry all right bye bye